Hello friends, welcome back. I was playing Mario game and uh, I was wondering how when a Mario is touching the crab, the Mario actually goes down. How does it happen? I believe all of you must also have the same question. So today in this video, we are going to learn the event when a sprite is touching another sprite. Okay, so we will see uh, how do we identify the event or how do we code the event when a sprite is touching another sprite and uh, how do we code it? What should happen after that? So without wasting any time, let's get started with me. Okay, so I already have created a project in which I have imported these animations. This animation Mario BG I will be using is the background of the game. You can easily get it from the internet. Just search for Mario background images and you should be able to get it. Um, I have this Mario image. Again, I got it from internet. It has got three frames. So you can also got it from internet, uh, remove the background and use it here. Okay, this crab, I got it from the game lab library itself. And this is the Mario again from internet. So it is like a Mario died crushed Mario, which when crab touches it, it actually goes down. Okay, so I have already imported this in my project. All these animations are already present. And in my code also, I have created these three uh, sprites. This is the background sprite. This is the Mario sprite. And this is the crab and a draw function. Uh, because all of you already know as of now, how do we create a sprite? I am not going to discuss it here. If you want to see how do we create a sprite, here is the video link, okay? So let me run it and show you how much is already there. So you can see we have the crab, we have the Mario, which is running and we have the background already in place. Next, what do we want? We want my Mario should be moving in towards right direction while my crab should be moving towards left direction. So what do we do uh, to give speed or velocity to these Mario and crab? Yes, velocity. We use the property velocity. So let's give them velocity. To Mario, I want the X velocity, okay? Because I want the Mario to move towards uh, right direction means, that means the uh, positive X direction. So the velocity will be something in positive. Let's say it is two and the crab should be moving in the left direction, which means the velocity should be in negative. So I am giving this a velocity of minus two. Okay, without further coding, let's test this. Yeah, so my Mario is now going towards right direction and crab is going towards left direction. Now comes the important part, when both of them are touching each other. How do we identify that event and how do we code that event? Okay, so uh, if you go to sprites, okay, if you go to sprites, you will see this important function, sprite is touching target. So this is what that we will be using. So it says if one sprite is touching another sprite, we want to do something. And because when talking also, we are talking about if. So yeah, definitely there should be an if around it, okay? So if my sprite one is touching the target. In this case, my uh, sprite is Mario and my target is crab. So we want to see if my Mario sprite is touching the crab sprite, we want to do something. We know whatever we want to do inside the F statement should come inside the curly braces, okay? So if my Mario is touching the crab, what do we want? First thing we want, the velocity of uh, Mario should become zero, okay? It means Mario dot velocity X is equals to zero, okay? Velocity X is zero, why? Because now I want this Mario to go downwards. That means in y direction downwards. Y direction downwards is what? Positive y velocity. So I will say Mario dot velocity y is equals to say, for example, three, okay? Uh, if you wish, you can also change the velocity of crab to say, you know, zero, you may want to make it still or something. So let me change the velocity of uh, crab as well, zero. Okay, let's see what happens. 
Yeah. So my Mario is now going down. So one thing that I would like to fix is this patchy part. When the Mario is going down of the background, it actually keeps on drawing itself. So it is a classic mistake. We should draw the background here. Okay. So my background is white. I will keep it white. So let's run and see if it has fixed this issue or not. Yes, it has fixed this, this issue. Okay, so I think we should not make the velocity of crab zero. It let it move on because uh, the Mario is a character which died. Crab is happy already. Okay, so the velocity of Mario X becomes zero, uh, zero and the velocity Y of Mario becomes three here. Another thing I want, uh, I want the animation of this Mario sprite to change. So how do we do that? Uh, in this here, we have already set the animation to Mario, which is this, which is this sprite. So that is why when the game starts, we are seeing this sprite as a moving Mario. But when the Mario touches the crab, I want the sprite also to change to this Mario, not this sprite. So sorry, the animation to change to this Mario one. Okay, so how do we do this? Mario is just an object to which we are giving different, different animations. Initially, I had given this uh, sprite, this animation. This object was having this particular animation, Mario. Now, when the Mario is touching crab, I will simply have to change the animation to another animation. So that was a very good trick for all of you. How do we change the animations? So in between also for the same sprite, we can keep on changing the animations. So let me run it and show it to you. Yes. So wasn't it simple? I believe now you have already learned that when the two sprites are touching each other, how do we code it? And if we want to add some special effects, some special coding your business implementation, how do you do that? So stay tuned in the next video. We are going to get even more tricky things for you guys. Stay tuned and see you soon. Bye-bye.